Ooh, what's up guys welcome back to another master duel video uh, it's been a long time since i uh, did a deck reform master duel, but um the reason why is because like it didn't really change anything that big in master duel. we didn't get the new support out yet but but i was still able to do it and ex like experiment a little bit and build something different and now i currently have two different deck profiles in master duel, okay one is a new Kaliuga build, complete new Kaliuga build for Masto without without the Asna Falcon. Can you believe it, guys? Also, without Asna Falcon and Masto. So that's really cool. And besides that, I also got this beautiful indestructible full arm master build. Uh, in the other build, you can also play indestructible arm master, but in this build, like you can play more consistently and more focused uh, Kali uh, indestructible arm build than on the other um bits but okay so yes um <laughs> what do i have here check this out guys um if you're curious for the other ways on how to summon the indestructible arm master then check out the other videos and uh, right now i'm going to show you real quick like we are actually playing dimensional fissure and shifter in this deck so Currently, I didn't draw the card, but uh, let's say, for example, there is Shifter or Dimension of Fissure in our hand with the same cards like this. Because this is, by the way, guys, this is a beautiful hand going first. There is no way, no way, only if you would have the Bureau maybe. But as you can see, guys, like, you can, without doing a normal summoning, go straight dang long with Orochi and uh, Chris. And then activate Deng Long's effect and you can also chain Orochi's effect so now all they can do is activate Imperm or Effect Veiler but if you if you have Shifter Life or Dimensional Fissure then they cannot even activate Effect Veiler they could only activate the Imperm right now um, so that's also why the Shifter and Dimensional Fissure is so great like all the other decks, they're just dying under uh, f uh, under the, those cards. So because we haven't normal summoned yet, we can easily activate Deng Long's effect and get the uh, Beyond on your hand. And now we can go here for Raikiri. And if he decides to Ash us over here, it does not matter. We can because we still got the Beyond. Uh, we already got the Beyond on our hand, so we're just gonna normal summon him. And then it's just cake. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So this is one way. Now let me show you another way. Okay. So yeah. But like I said. Like this deck is really fun to play. Because you, you do not only rely on. Uh, uh, the indestructible arm master. You can also go for anything else. Like we, we got Avermax over here. Avermax under shifter is also easy easy and possible and if you got the dimensional fissure activated then there's also like there's not a lot of outs that, that they can do against avamax because you're gonna summon him with y6 and with ip and now look at this hand guys look at this hand this might look like a brick right but now thanks to small world and our bridge in this deck is going to be uh the vishda why because vishda is you can every cut that you have works with Vishda even if you got like for example Beyond on your hand and no Simun you can just use Beyond Vishda and get Simun to your hand and then this is automatically indestructible arm master boom just like that if you still need uh the other ways on how to summon the indestructible arm master because there's like always I feel like five six seven different kind of ways then uh check out the video in the in the comment section i'll link it over there and then we can check it out too uh then you can just check that out and okay let's just go to the deck profile i'm talking way too much nonsense okay so here we are um before i should go like okay let's just yeah we got three times orashi yeah two three times gust three times hammer time hammer time man beautiful card <laughs> three times gale um two times beyond because once you you want to bait your opponent 
where by activating Dang Long's effect and then second effect, you can special summon Beyond. So you will get one Beyond to your hand and you can special summon the other one. And yeah, and we got one Bora, one Zephyros, one Chris, uh, one Auster, and we got three times to Moon. By the way, I just, I think I picked something. I got a Prismatic. I got a Prismatic Simoon, man. Look at this beautiful Prismatic Simoon. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks nice, right? Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, and then we got free time shift that just works perfectly in this deck. And then Vishra as our small world bridge. Also great. Then two times triple, triple tactic talents. Uh, because we can only play one prosperity. And then I uh, decided to play one wing one wing with Kaito because it just I mean two is like three is definitely too much two is kind of also too much yeah, one just works perfectly right now it's like either that card or a lure of darkness because prosperity is just at one so yeah then we got three times small world you already know small world beautiful card and with small world guys that like, doesn't matter which card you got on your hand you can search for every monster Let's say you got a black wing monster on your hand, okay? No problem. Use a black wing monster, use Vishuda, and boom, go for whatever you want. If you got the Beyond on your hand, you can also like Vishuda, uh, Beyond, banish Vishuda, get anything to your hand. If you got the Shifter, no problem. Use the Shifter, use Vishuda, get any black wing monster that you want. So it just works perfectly. Or you can also. Like with Shifter, for example, or like any other, for example, okay, let's say Shifter, Gale, you get Beyond to your hand. Or Blackwing Monster, Vishuda, you can get Beyond to your hand. Like everything works with Small World in this deck. It's just beautiful. Then we got three times Small World and two times Call by the Grave just because the great card. Then X deck, we got Denglong, Nofong. Why not? Just for an additional normal summoning sometimes. It does help. Uh, Raikiri. Hidori. And the Draco Berserker is just also since some like since the new support came out, I really love playing Draco Berserker, so yeah. And then we got two times full armor master. Bondafle also works. Like if you brick with for example only one Ulcer and one Hamilton and you got like fissures or the shifters. Then sometimes one Baron de Fleur is also enough. Um, yeah, then we got Time Thief. Just because, like, if you just start with two little four monsters, then for the OTK, you got the Raiders Knight and the Arc Rebellion Dragon. And then if it's not enough, then you can still go for Zeus. And then, yeah, so on the Fissure or on the Shifter, you can also Y Strix IP and then. Avermax, like you, you, got, you guys know, right? I don't have to explain anything to you guys. You already know what, 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 uh, how it works. Um, yeah, guys, check this deck profile out, man. If you're sick of playing Kaluga Master the whole time, then check this out. You don't even have to go for full arm master. It's, it's, it's enough to like go for, I don't know, all the other cards because on the shift of Fissure. There's not, not a lot of cards I can play under those cards, right? So, uh, yeah. I'm so tired, man. Sorry for... Uh, oh. Free top G, I'm out.